Welcome back to another Rat Face 44 Reviews. My name is James, and today we have the Action Force Vanguard Stealth Gray. So let's get this started. So before we get this started, big shout out to DJC Collectibles for hooking me up with this. Thank you, Bobby Valla and the Valaverse team. So as you can see, I haven't taken out of the shipper yet. So let's go ahead and do that. I got a trusty scalpel here. Let's cut the seal. I'm super excited to get this out of the box. This is gonna be freaking amazing. Boom. Check out the artwork. Pretty freaking sweet, nice and basic. I like the matrix raining type of uh, print on here. Got a cool line work of the Vanguard. And on this side, you got the logo of the Vanguard. And I'll flip this around. Here we have, just like the old school, G.I. Joe tech specs. You have a nice diagram of the vehicle with all the accessories and everything that it includes with. Here is a nice features list on the side. Valiverse logo. And also we have the missile pack that came with the pre-order. Let's go ahead and take that out of the shipper. just sitting clean in this box with all the awesome cool accessories all right let's go ahead and take the vanguard out of the box i am again stoked let me know in the comment section down below whether uh you got the gray one or the desert tan colored i really wanted the gray dark gray vanguard because it will go well with the Stinger and we'll have a comparison later on in this video. And we have a piece of tape. Boom. Boom. A lot easier than I was expecting. And there it is. Let's pull it out. Different type of camera setup here so I can uh, Specifically take the Vanguard. This is a massive vehicle, so we'll have lots of room. So here's the Vanguard in a plastic bag to keep it protected. That is awesome. Let's pull it out of the bag. Got some tape there. And this is very well packed, very well protected. So it doesn't have any damage. There you go. We got a cardboard at the bottom. And we got some instructions here with a file card for the driver. That is awesome. We got a cardboard protection on the turret here. Check it out. There's some blast effects. And there it is, fully assembled. Pretty much. Just need to put the awesome turret on. In the back here, I can see there's a bunch of accessories, and I'm assuming that's where the driver is. I hope. <laughs> we got some lots of weapons. And yes, there is the cover for the turret. And here is the driver. We'll take a look at that in just a moment. So before we put this together, we're gonna to take a quick look at the Vanguard. So far, this looks freaking amazing. Uh, people are worried about the plastic quality. It sounds and it feels very, very good. And we got the doors, removable doors, and then that interior, that looks freaking awesome. Let's zoom in on that and I'll give it a little turn. Check out that interior, that looks awesome. Let's zoom in a little bit more. 
check it out. Got a gear shifter steering wheel that moves the front tires. That is awesome. Let's test that out. I'm going to back it up. Check this out. It moves the front tires. That is awesome. You got a working winch here. There it is. <laughs> now I gotta twist it all back up again. <laughs> so, so far, this is the only default deco that's on the front license plate. Check that out. Let's zoom in on that. And on the back here, you have a Resvani printed right on the vehicle. You got some headlights here that are actual plastic, not stickers. Nice translucent red. We have a removable, hopefully, a removable, there you go, a removable shovel. That is cool. And at the bottom here, we have some foot pegs. We got one, we got two, we got another two right here. So apparently this could hold one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine in the back and 10 controls the turret at the top here. Let's put, so let's go ahead and put the regular default turret on the Vanguard here. And this is what it is right here. I haven't really watched many. Uh, the only video I've ever watched on this thing is when Bobby was putting it together. That was a while ago. So this thing will come off and we got the regular cover. We'll try that on and then we'll put on the, uh, the gun turret. So here's the default kind of just cover. It goes on the top here. There it is. And we have the turret. Taking a closer look at the gun turret here, there's a double barrel. Uh, I'm figuring this is 50 cal. We have two bullet boxes here with some uh, bullet belts, bullets kind of sticking out. Um, we have two handles here and we have a, a target kind of crosshairs here and two handles. Um, very, very cool detail on here. And we have two holes for blast effects in the barrel and we'll take a look at that later on in the video. And there's a peg right here that fits in the hole just like that. And that's very, very simple. We have a bunch of accessories here. Looks like there's gas cans and we have one of these arms, articulated arms here that kind of clips on anywhere you want. And I know it probably fits in the back here for a gunner. This is very cool. Check out that gun. Amazing. And we got bullet belts and we got a little one right here. So taking a closer look at the gun here and the arm and the bullet box here, it's fairly simple to put it together. Um, I would suggest, and it's a little frustrating just to let you know, and it's kind of a little de uh, delicate. So there's a peg and hole system here. This little peg thing does come out and all you have to do is peg in these bullets into the bullet box and kind of line it up with the slot here on the gun and just plug it in and it falls out. <laughs> so yeah, just uh, be aware that this comes out fairly easy and I think maybe the glue came out here, but you can just easily just peg it back in and it just sticks in like that. Pretty cool, love the gun. And we got some gas canisters, pretty plain Jane gas canisters. And we have a ammo box. So with the instructions, also there comes with the uh, file card for the driver. So you can go ahead and pause the screen right there if you wanna read it. We got the manual, uh, operator manual for the Vanguard and we have stickers for the Vanguard. I'm not sure what I'm gonna use these. I may. So here are the instructions. They just fold out and they show some really cool aspects of the Vanguard. 
very cool. And here are, looks like, how to, where to put the decals if you want, suggested spots, and here you can show the hatch. That's very nostalgic for sure with this <laughs> awesome operator manual. So I've readjusted the camera here to get a better angle. Hope you guys can see. So we can swap out this default kind of accessory turret thing. And we're gonna put on the massive missile launcher. That is freaking awesome. Check that out. Put a whole bunch of missiles in there. This is pretty deadly. Check out that detail. Gray and black, ah, love the colors. So it looks like it'll just fit right on top of this thing really easily, just like that. Moves around, if it could clip on properly, that'd be nice, thank you very much, there you go. Hopefully this is the right way of putting it. <laughs> um, I believe so, looks right to me. Oh, I almost forgot about the blast effects, so we'll try the blast effects on the, with these accessories that come with more blast effects for the actual missiles. There's three here. Check that out. And the flame effects are actually correct. <laughs> that is awesome. Check that out. Nice translucent effect. And we got four of them. Awesome. So you got different, uh, you got different sizes here and a different kind of different types of effects also. That is pretty cool. We got kind of a medium and small. They're all in different kind of uh, launch sequences. Let's go ahead and put them in. And they could they could be staggered, I guess. I think this is the one that comes out the back. You can take out. So you can either have them engaged or not engaged. Kind of makes sense. So you could have more options. So it looks like we could put them from biggest to smallest. Left to right, right to left, whatever you want. You could have them going off all at the same time in different sequences, which is really awesome. And uh, looks like there's only one kind of exhaust type of effect. That is pretty sweet. So here's a little bit of a closer uh, shot of the missiles coming out. Very cool. All right, so let's go ahead and swap this out. This is pretty freaking awesome. Rotates around. Awesome. So let's go ahead and put the default turret on here and we'll try out these blast effects. So here is this massive blast effect. It's like two blasts stuck together and they will fit on the gun. pretty cool and I hear people complaining about this not going up and down and I believe Bobby already addressed this issue and I'm not sure how it's gonna come about with people who've already bought their vanguards but at least we will be able to get the option for the fix or to have the option for this tour to go up and down and it's a little bit weighed weighed down by the blast effect and it kind of points down just in a slight angle that looks pretty cool though let's go ahead and open up the trunk and I know this arm thing will fit in the trunk there you go fits right there so someone could be in the in the trunk firing that is freaking awesome so we've got these gas cans i believe they go somewhere i'm not 100 percent sure where these would go probably in the trunk somewhere like there's a little groove or whatnot that these fit in i could feel it 
There you go. Let's see if it it's right there. And there's another one in the inside of the trunk here. So many cool options with this Vanguard. It is amazing. So let's go ahead and take a look at the figure. So here is the figure just in a plastic bag. We have all the accessories here. So here are all the accessories all mixed in with the new stand here. So we still have the slot for the file card. You still have four pegs, but you have this kind of kind of dirt texture with a bunch of rocks and whatnot. Sandy color, very cool. And you got the Action Force logo. And here is the figure. That looks pretty freaking sweet. Nice shiny goggles. This is the first time I get to see the new body uh, for Series 5, and I'm really excited for Series 5. I can't wait to get all those figures. Wiggle test, pretty good. He has freaking beefy legs, that's for sure. Let's check out the articulation and the movement of the joints. Knees work really well. They're not locked up. They're just slightly tight. And I've noticed like maybe the uh, drop down hips are a little loose. And this figure looks definitely different. Look at that texture and all that uh, sculpting on the mask and on the vest here that's actually kind of sculpted in the body. There's some uh, nice kind of ab articulation here. You can get some good crunch out of that. It's way back. And this is the, is this the new double ball joint? It totally is. That is freaking cool. Check that out. You got some nice range there. You can you could, uh, not really look up too well. About that far. Oh, I'm wrong. It was a little locked up. And it could look like he's Superman and he can fly. That is how you do a neck joint. Holy crap. That is amazing. <laughs> Compared to <laughs> my last review of um, Raptor, where he can't even move his neck, this is a dream for sure. <laughs> Uh, let's get a little closer here. Very, very cool. <laughs> so the uh, let's go ahead and take a look at these butterfly shoulder joints, and they move like a dream. Check that out. Oh, I am super excited for Series 5. Holy smokes. The articulation on this figure is phenomenal. That's all I gotta say. And I am excited for series five like i keep on saying <laughs> so we got all the hands you ever wanted here holding hands fist hands cup hands and we got default trigger fingers on the figure itself we got this little oh i know what this that's, this is now this is a little coffee cup with the action force logo on it that is awesome check that out so there is cup holders within the vanguard there's the cup holder <laughs> freaking sweet so continuing looking at this figure going down his legs um, you got some really cool green od green pants got some uh, gray knee pads and gray military boots with great details on there check out that got some laces details hey i haven't said that in a while you got some cool silver uh clips here very awesome let me know in the comment section down below whether you like this figure or not, or the actual helmet. I know the, the whole face thing, you can always swap it out. So it looks like the neck and ball joint pop right out, just like that. <laughs> uh, and that's my first time experiencing that. I guess you can just have to hold down the neck and then pop the head off. But uh, probably gonna need some a little bit of heat to get that apart. But overall, I like the new body. It's a nice bigger body. So another thing I missed here with the accessories is this. I guess this is like a can energy drink. It's just a nice silver little energy drink canister, which will fit in the cup holders. We got the figure stand. Let's go ahead and just mount the figure on the stand. Why the heck not? And it looks like there's more pegs 
I was wrong. There's one, two, three, four, five, six pegs on this figure stand. So there's more options for your figure to stand. Very cool. So also with these accessories, he comes with the default handgun. I think this is the first time I've ever seen there, seeing this uh, gun and uh, Check out that detail. There is a hole for blast effects. So we might as well try it out in his hand. And it fits like a glove. Let's see how he fits. So there you go. There's the figure in the vehicle. I know you can put his hands on the steering wheel. And I got a modified Pandora here. I wanna see how she fits in there. Check out my Action Force review playlist and you'll see how I uh, do a lot of kit bashing and whatnot. So Pandora has plenty of space to fit in here. So here's a size comparison with the Vanguard and the Stinger slash Vamp. And you can see a significant size difference between them. Vanguard is massive compared to the Stinger. So there's one thing I've been wanting to do in this video. I want to load the Vanguard up with a whole bunch of special ops troopers. So let's go ahead and do that. So I got all the special ops troopers off my shelf and now it's time to load them all up, including the driver. So these are 10 figures in total. So technically I should be able to load them all into the Vanguard. So here you go, guys. Here is the Vanguard all loaded up with all my spec ops troopers. I was able to put 10 figures on this thing. Pretty freaking amazing. Um, I got the driver in the driver's seat, of course, and the rest, you know, there's two female uh, Spec Ops troopers, uh, one in the turret, and I was able to put a, a female Spec Ops trooper in the back. I figured it was kind of fitting since she's a little bit smaller. So you can see her right here in the back. It was a little bit frustrating putting her in there, but she looks freaking awesome. And I uh, had a really fun time adding all the Spec Ops Troopers to the Vanguard. And I really like the Gunner. He looks really awesome. Just freaking blasting his way through enemy territory. <laughs> so I just wanted to give some of my final thoughts about the Vanguard and how much it really builds the world for Action Force. I'm really excited for more vehicles and maybe some dials would be really cool made by Valiverse. And overall right now, I'm really liking this. Uh, as you can tell, I've been enjoying this review and I hope you enjoyed my review too. And if you're new here, please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, make a comment down below. Yo, Joe, and it's time for action.